In order to create a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, we can go to Google, search for Spring Initializer. We need to go to this particular website, start.spring.io. This is the Spring Initializer website. Here we have multiple options. In our case, we are going to use the language as Java. Build would be Maven. Spring Boot, currently the existing versions are shown over here. I'm going to select 3.2.10. Under project metadata, we have the group which would be the package name. Artifact would be the project name. I'm going to I'm going to modify the artifact name over here. I just named it as Spring Boot IntelliJ Community Edition. That is why CE modifying the package name over here. Packaging would be jar. Java version would be 17. So here I can directly generate and it can be downloaded. Another thing we can explode it as well whatever is generated or whatever would be generated we can get a glimpse over here and then we can download if you notice over here we have the pom.xml in pom.xml we have the spring boot starter parent the group id the artifact id the version name and all and at the bottom if i move i have the spring boot starter spring boot starter test i did not add any dependencies but what i would do now i'm going to add a few here I can click add dependencies, search for any specific dependency. I'm going to type MVC or we can type Spring Web also, selecting this one. Now I can explode it again. If I scroll down, you can see this Spring Boot Starter Web is present over there. Closing it, going to my download, I want to remove the one that I have already. Removing this, click on generate. Now this is the version which is generated. I'm going to use this. Extracting this. Copying this project to a specific directory. From there, I would import it to my IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. I'm in IntelliJ IDEA now, clicking on Open. And I'm going to select the project we have just created. This is the one. Click on OK. Checking this box, Trust Projects in C colon IntelliJ IDEA Projects. Trust Project maximizing this now the project is being set up in IntelliJ currently the indexing is going on let's wait for a while it's resolving the dependencies currently expanding the project structure under main I have a simple class which is Spring Boot IntelliJ CE application under test also I have a sample unit test class let me open the pom.xml there are certain additional parts which I can get rid of. These are not required. I'm just selecting this and removing them. Clicking on the Maven panel. Expanding this under lifecycle. I can disable the test for now. Skip test and selecting clean package. Run Maven build. The build is successful. I can go to my class or I can run Spring Boot from here also. I can go to this plugins, expand the Spring Boot, and run this one. Let me do that. Run Maven build. You can see the Spring Boot application is running. Click on allow access. If I move to the right hand side, I can see the started Spring Boot application in two point some seconds. Another way we can run this, closing this. Let me close this Maven panel. Right click on this application class. Run as Java program here. Now also the Spring Boot application is started. So what we did in this particular lesson, we created the initial project structure from start.spring.io and we downloaded the sample project, the skeleton project. We imported it using IntelliJ IDEA and then we built it and ran it. One important thing over here, if you notice in Spring Initializer, there are certain restrictions. It provides you the latest Spring Boot versions and also Java version wise, it restricts you within 23, 21 or 17 at this point of time. After a few months, after a year, these versions would change. Now, in case you have a lower version of Java and in case you are willing to use lower versions of Spring Boot, some earlier versions of Spring Boot, then what you can do you can download that particular template like I have downloaded it over here. Let me show you. Now, this is my template which I downloaded. 
I can directly go to the pom.xml and here I can change the version based on my requirement, right? Whatever version I'm using for Spring or whatever Java versions I need to use and then import that in IntelliJ IDEA or I can import that in IntelliJ IDEA and then change the versions accordingly. So this is one important thing to keep in mind. You can generate the template from Spring Initializer, but that may not cater to your requirement. You may have some different requirement with some different version of Spring or different Java version. So this particular thing we should always keep in mind while using Spring Initializer and IntelliJ IDEA.